This video was sponsored by Squarespace. Squarespace is an all-in-one website platform for entrepreneurs to stand out and succeed online. Good morning. It is a beautiful day today. I think it's gonna go up to almost 25 degrees today. Uh, so I really wanna get out there. I wanna enjoy the sun and I wanna take you on another planty walk. So today we're walking to Wendy's secret or not so secret garden. Let's go. Alrighty, we're on the road. We're back at the uh, cemetery that I was at last time I did a tour as well. We're pretty much heading in the same direction, so I'll see if I can find any new stops along the way with like new plants, plants we haven't seen before. But I'm really headed to Lavender Bay. I still haven't looked into noise cancellation. <laughs> and so Lavender Bay is a beautiful, uh, I don't know if it's its own suburb, but it basically belongs to North Sydney. So same council as me and it's just towards the harbour, right under the harbour bridge. So some of the most expensive real estate in Sydney with beautiful views. And there's like this park, it's called Randy's Secret Garden. Well, it's not so secret anymore, but basically to give you a little bit of history, Wendy, I think it's Whitley, not Whiteley, I think it's Wendy Whitley. Um, so she started the garden sometime in the 1970s or 1980s after her husband passed away. So she was grieving and she just kind of got stuck into gardening around their property in Lavender Bay. And, and yeah, eventually it turned into this full on garden, which I'll show you in a sec. Right? So I really love this story because I mean, I don't love that her husband passed away and that she was grieving, but I think it just shows that plants do make people happy and I'll try and pay attention to the street so I don't get hit by the car. Right, successfully managed to not get hit by a car. Look at that, some natives. Um, so yeah, I mean, I love the idea of, oh my God, look at that. It's still, it's not even August, so it's still technically the middle of winter. I feel like this is going to be a hot summer. Anyway, my whole story was that Wendy obviously used plants to get over some difficult times in her life. And I feel like most plant growers can resonate with that. I personally definitely got into plants when I think I wasn't mentally as healthy. Alrighty. I I think this street is a little more on the quiet side, so you can hear me better. And this street also has a lot of jacaranda trees, so I feel like we should go back in. Still so many cars. <laughs> uh, anyway, last time a lot of people said it didn't bother them too much, so that's good. I might put some music in the background, so it's not too distracting. Anyway, it is warm today. I'm already sweaty. I'm a really fast walker, so maybe I need to slow down a little bit, otherwise I'll be a sweaty mess by the end of this video. But it's like 21 degrees right now, but the sun is hot. And it's gonna go up to 24, and even the wind is nice and warm, so I'm thrilled. Oh, look at this. Is these magnolias? I think they're magnolias, right? They're in bloom at the moment. Oh, that smelled good as well. And I just spotted a nice tree. I wanted to show you that. Oh, you can smell it from here. How nice is this? So beautiful. Oh, that's nice. Ah, oh my God, look at it. I think it's a magnolia. All right, I think I found a quiet street. It's nice, but I am also heading in the wrong direction. So <laughs> anyway, at least I can talk to you for a sec because, and I'll, I'll put my source uh, in, the, in the description if you want to read a little more about Wendy's garden. I wanted to read out this quote for you. Wendy comments, I didn't know anything about horticulture when I started the garden. I just knew what I liked. I've since learned what likes being here. It's a symbiotic relationship 
symbiotic relationship between the plants, myself, and my gardeners. And I really love that. I feel like that's the same approach as with me, with me and my, my plant journey. I'm not a horticulturalist. I don't know about so many things. But I like to experiment. I like to try things out. And my apartment is a result of my trial and error. Anyway, um, now at the main road. So I'll probably see you when I get closer to the gardens. But before we keep going with the video, let's hear a word about today's sponsor, Squarespace. Squarespace makes it easy to create and update a beautiful website, but it doesn't just stop there. Squarespace helps you get the most out of your website and build your business. And here are some of my favorite features. First, you can ask your viewers to subscribe to your mailing list. You can do that by adding these elements to your website or you can automate a pop-up so that when people access your website, they're given the ability to subscribe. Once you've built up your mailing list, you can do bulk mail outs. You can choose from a variety of templates ranging from various topics like thank you notes or new product updates and so on. And of course, you can always customize all of the emails and the layouts. And then lastly, once you send out your campaign, Squarespace offers real-time campaign and website analytics to help you refine your email strategy. This way you can learn what resonates with your audience and what gets you the highest engagement. If you want to find out more, head to squarespace.com slash sydneyplantguy. And if you're ready to start your own website, you can use discount code sydneyplantguy for 10% of your first purchase of a website or domain. Thank you, Squarespace, for sponsoring this video, but let's get back into it. Alrighty, we're getting closer. Um, at least the walk is just down here for like three to four kilometers, so I can do that. But I just wanted to show you this beautiful office building over here. And they also have these really nice lush pillars. Look at that. Hang on. Yeah, there's even some begonias over here. A lot of Boston ferns. random office building and some more here very similar to the Westfield Mall I wouldn't be surprised if that's from a similar company but over here slightly different setup Some over here as well. These Xanadus are definitely team sunstressed. The plant is set up over here. Got a little bit of growing to do still. No idea what it is, but I see some pollinators, which makes me really happy. All right, we're not too far now. At least it's nice and quiet over here. So yeah, I really enjoy going for these walks and uh, I've done a few of these videos already. I've done one through Varinka Mall. I've done one to the Botanic Gardens. And the videos did really badly, let's say, when I just look at the statistics. So thanks for everybody who left a comment because just based on the comments, I feel like you guys actually really enjoyed these tours. If I would just go off numbers, uh, then I would think that you guys really hated it. <laughs> um, so, you know, leaving a comment and letting me know what kind of content you enjoy and if you liked the video or not is really useful for me because sometimes you just can't trust the numbers. So sometimes the numbers don't necessarily reflect that. Oh, got some more elements. I just love when we try and incorporate plants in more of our urban landscape. And it's quite easy. I mean, obviously we've got good conditions here. Oh, look, these are some blue star ferns, spider plants. Okay, let's cross the road without getting hit. Ah, success, I think. Okay, look at this. So this is 
sorry, it would be really loud. There's a bus starting there. But look at this. This is just next to yet another office building. Look at this. It's there with some huge other cages. Look at the size of this. I mean, seriously, look at the size of this stem. Look at that. So I will be planting some of these in my garden as well. But that's not actually what I wanted to show you. Look at the beautiful view. And we are kind of headed where these trees are down there. So let's go. Uh, the tree is final, the bus is finally gone. We can look at this in peace. Okay. Oh, look at this. Just rows and rows of monsteras. Everywhere. Sydney wildlife, we have so many bush turkeys running around everywhere. And I think they're so cute, but <laughs> everybody else thinks they're a pest. So yeah, I've got a couple more questions about this like planty walk and talk concept. First of all, how much talk and how much walk? Now I'm not going to be able to give you a whole lot of information about all of the plants and so on. So if I talk, it's just going to be my brain dump, right? It's just my genuine reaction to things or giving you some life updates and so on. I'm not, it's not gonna be like a tour with a botanist because I'm just not a botanist, right? So I can't, I can't offer that. But would you rather have this tour be like silent? I just put music in the background and it's just basically like one long like hyperlapse that you can just watch or do you like the kind of commentary? So let me down, let me know down below. Uh, okay. I'm back on the main road, so I'll see you when I'm there. What a brilliant day again. Ah, so happy, honestly. I just feel like summer is around the corner of spring. I'm actually a bit worried about summer. This winter has been really dry. Summer is going to be as dry. We're in trouble. But uh, very much looking forward to spring. So, we're here. So, basically, it is a lot of ups and downs over here through the gardens. But it's basically on this hill leading down to the water. We're really close to Luna Park. So, Luna Park is like a little action park. Uh, but yeah, I mean, you can see this already and we're gonna have a lot of these uh, I, think it, I think they're Morton Bay fig trees and they provide a lot of shade for all of the plants underneath so we've got some gorgeous monsteras growing here a lot of Calithias or Fernanthes another huge That's nest fan. Look at this root system. I don't know if my microphone picks that up, but there's so many kids screaming in the background. Um, they're at Luna Park and on some sort of action ride. <laughs> so, uh, so in case you hear kids screaming in the background constantly, don't worry, they're fine. <laughs> Look at this, the amount of film and how it attached to its hoist. 
Nice. Beautiful trees. And then it's probably overexposed, but can you see the bridge down there through the trees? Beautiful. All right, so I think this is like the official start of the garden. So look at this beautiful tree. Okay. It's got a lot of blue star ferns. Branches, that's so nice. seen an alocasia climb look at this you can't tell me. I mean it's not like properly attached there's no roots but it's definitely somehow enjoying this tree fern as a host So the Matophyllums, I think they used to also be called tree philodendron, but they are a different species. But you know, they, they do grow their own trunk and they have these strong roots to hold themselves up. But if they can find a host, it's almost like they'll lasso themselves onto this. That's pretty cool. Sorry if I'm really naive, but is that the fruit of the palm tree? If somebody knows their palm trees, please let me know. getting closer to the screaming children it's so weird because this is such a peaceful quiet tranquil place <laughs> and in the background there's just kids screaming bloody murder <laughs> I've been here so many times and I still haven't found a way to do it like chronologically I mean suppose there is no chronological way of doing it I'm very German, I'm structured. I like to go, like, I don't I want to make sure I don't miss any path. But wherever you go, there's another path popping up, seriously. All right, we're at the top here. You can see the bridge and the screaming children. Oh, this is cool. Some natives. Rabbit foot. It's a 
beautiful park. And all of this down there, that's Randy's garden. That's the beautiful tree we just saw earlier. Can you see the bush turkey on that tree? I think it's a, it's a bit hard with the light and shade and so on. It's such a nice park. Look, my friend, the bush turkey. Hello, bush turkey. Hello. Oh, that's cool. Look at all of the new fronts coming out the tree fern over there. Where is it? Uh, yeah. You know how Australia, when we compete in sports, we wear green and yellow? It's because of the wattle tree, which is this one over here. It's like our national tree. I think that's a calla lily. Some more natives over here. Sure, am I going to go this way or the other way? See, that's what I mean. <laughs> I want to take like every path, but there's so many. Oh, I think I chose the good one. By the way, I'm getting so sweaty. <laughs> like, and it's not even summer. Like, if I have to do, if I do more planty walks in summer, you'll have to get used to me being sweaty. But look at this. So, major inspiration here actually for me. I found a, a dead trunk of like tree fern on the side of the road. Hang on, let me stand in the sun maybe. Is that better? Yeah. And I always wanted to just mount some bromeliads on it. And that's exactly what they've done over here. Yeah, so I need to do that. Project time. No, I've got one over here. Yeah, let's do some projects. I just feel like with some projects and experimenting, I'm better off doing it in summer because then I have more space to experiment because a lot of my plants will move outside. Whereas in winter, I'm struggling with space as it is, so probably not a good time to experiment and require even more space. Plus in winter, experiments are more likely to fail, right? Because the plants are already challenged given the conditions are suboptimal. Whereas in summer, I'll have a much better time. Beautiful bark on this tree. So smooth. And they have all of these little seating nooks over here as well. So you can come and have a picnic. Much nicer than sitting at the pub. Even though I do love a good pub moment as well. <laughs> oh, I love this syngonium climbing up there. Which you cannot see at all. So let me get closer. Bananas. Ooh. And this is the beautiful tree that we saw from our top. Look at how the tree has taken to that rock formation. Alright, let's find this Syngonium I was talking about. So again, its host is a tree fern. And you can see when it starts, you know, our normal familiar Syngonium leaves, as we all know them. 
and then as it climbs up it becomes these lobes and now it has five lobes five five lobe eel <laughs> i don't know there's probably a word for it yeah that's that is pretty cool but i like my syngoniums normal now obviously the council is now maintaining this i say obviously i don't know if it's obvious i don't know if it's the truth actually i would assume the council is operating this or at least the council is okay with this <laughs> But what I really like about it is that this is like prime Sydney real estate, right? You have one of the best views of the city. You have crazy location, like you're really close to the city. This lot of land would be millions of dollars. Multiple, like, I don't even know, maybe hundreds of millions of dollars. Especially if you can build like a high rise or something like that. But they're not doing it. They are keeping it like this, which I really, really appreciate. Syngonium climbing up here. Same, same, but over here it's just trilobial for now. Okay, we are at the beginning again. That was the big tree from the beginning. What comes down must go back up. So let's head back up here. It's also a very popular spot for engagements. Uh, <laughs> pretty much every time I'm here, I see somebody getting engaged. These are everywhere at the moment. Oh, look at this one. This is like... And is this the same as this? It looks so different. Well, it's, it's obviously not the same, but... Similar, right? Alrighty, that was Wendy's garden. I just went for a little walk. Now, I already feel so much more relaxed than when I started this walk. But while we're here, we're really close to the beautiful harbour, which is way overexposed right now. But I thought I'll just go down there and I'll show you how beautiful the harbour is and let's see what plants we find down there. Might as well while we're here, right? Alrighty. I'm down here at beautiful Lavender Bay. Alrighty guys, I had to put a hat on because it's really sunny now and you know, I want to be sun smart. Now, can we see this? This is Wendy's garden, that green patch down there. You can see the palm trees at the top and the cute little houses. It's nice, right? It's nice that they kept it instead of developing it into high rises like behind it. This is why the kids were screaming, by the way. It is a Sunday, so it's busy out here. There's a little, little dog on the boat. Super cute. Seagulls are vicious. Look at them. It's because there's. <laughs> Did you see all these seagulls? It's because there's like one person eating chippies. And they all know. That's crazy. Oh, look at this beautiful tree at the top over there. This one. 
that's so me. There's like an action park and the harbour bridge and the opera house and I was like, look at this tree. <laughs> This is so nice, huh? I love this city. I don't, I still don't, I'm still not sick of seeing it. Like, I've, I have no idea how many times I've been down here or like around this area. I love going for walks here and I'm still not sick of it. I mean, today is a brilliant day. Like, that definitely helps. Like, it's 22 degrees by now. Not a cloud in the sky. The wind is nice and warm as well, so you don't even have wind chill, so it's beautiful in the shade. And if you're in the sun, it's even better. But yeah, I was really thrilled with all of the comments you left on the last video when I walked to the Botanic Gardens. Like, that's exactly what I was kind of hoping for. People are like, oh, it's like, I don't think I'll ever be able to travel to Australia, but I don't have to because <laughs> you just did it, <laughs> like for us. Also, right next to the bridge is the Olympic pool. So this was where the 2000, I think 2000, yep, um, Sydney Olympics were held. But they're currently renovating. But that is one of the nicest swimming pools you could possibly swim in, I reckon. Like, the, you have, like this is your view while you swim. These palm trees look pretty good. Well, I can't end this video without showing you one of my favorite trees. Um, so we're just gonna walk there. And you can see the tree over there next to the ferry terminal already. It's a stunner. is Jeffrey Street ferry station. What a stunning looking ferry station, huh? Oh, hello! <laughs> Where do you come from? Hello! Oh! Oh, that's the dog from the little boat. Stunning. <sighs> oh my god, this makes me so happy. And here's my tray. Look at it, it's so fluffy. I am pretty confident it's a Morton Bay fig. Am I pretty confident? I mean, I'm probably wrong. <laughs> it's the best I can do. If I put myself here, I might put it in perspective. I don't know. I don't even know if you can see me. <laughs> and this is the view from the tree. I like the tree's view. Not bad, huh? So this suburb over here is called Kiribili and you, you, you know about it. We walked through it to get across the bridge uh, to the gardens. And it is so beautiful. Great place to watch the fireworks. Very busy though great to go for a run or uh, you know take the dogs for a walk or something like that if I had a dog but, you know, when I dog sit then I like to bring them down here it's nice and scenic and another beautiful ferry terminal Imagine you just live here. That's crazy, no? Oh, 
All right, it's probably quite noisy for you. There's a lot of waves and boats around, but I hope you enjoyed this little tour through Mandy's Secret Garden and Kiribili. I certainly had a good time. I'm feeling relaxed, I'm re feeling re-energized. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, again, leave a comment down below if you want me to go on more tours um, and just take you for walks. Like, subscribe and leave a nice comment and I'll see you next time. Bye.